for my questions to the Premier. In my riding alone, there is 25 residents who are no longer eligible for the Senior Dental Care Program for 2022-23. As a result of a 2.8% increase to senior CPP and OAS due to inflation, it is a welcome bump for seniors living on fixed incomes. However, due to an outdated income requirement program, now Ontario has seniors who do not have access to a stable dental care. Thank you, Speaker. Through you, is this government going to commit to increasing the income ceiling for the dental care program to accommodate for inflation? The Minister of Health. Thank you, Speaker. As the member opposite would know, um, all government programs, whether it is drugs, seniors, um, rental, they all have a, embedded in the program the threshold of income. That has been, um, frankly, something that we have done as governments to ensure that the people most in need are getting the services that they need. The, the Seniors Dental Program is clearly one that is embraced and wanting to be expanded in the province of Ontario, but we have to ensure that those most in need um, with that income threshold are the ones first in line to receive the service. Thank you. The supplementary. Thank you, Speaker, to the Minister of Health. It is shameful that seniors have to live in pain, poverty, because they cannot afford basic dental care. Mm -hmm. I figured the Minister would say what she said, when, but, however, when looking into this issue for my residents, I received the same response from this ministry. In fact, we were told that no changes to the program eligibility will be made, and citing that there is not a need for it after all. The rollout of the federal dental care plan will be in place by 2025. Through you, Speaker, does this government intend to leave low-income seniors living in pain without basic dental care until 2025 because their CPP was increased by a merely $50 to $100 a year? Wow. As the member opposite would be well aware, the federal government is looking at expanding dental. They have not made any determinations of how that pathway is done. In the province of Ontario, we've acted. We have a seniors dental program, which again, as with every other income-based program, whether it's drugs, whether it's rental, has an income threshold base to it. Is the member opposite suggesting that individuals most in need most at risk should not have access to, to the dental care that we are currently providing sure. in the province of Ontario. The federal government is talking about it. We in Ontario have acted and are working and implemented.